All right, this is video number three. If you're wondering, I don't wear these clothes every day. I'm making all these videos the same day. I'm just, uh, like I said, these videos are to catch up to where I'm at at this point uh, and to give me time to do a little bit of editing when I make new videos. So I'll have a couple of weeks worth of videos already made. So uh, don't think I wear this clothes every day because I don't. All right, so step two or step three, step one on starting the house, but step three of the process is starting the house. We're using these six by six posts here and the way we did them, we, I used a farm tractor that I have with a 12 inch auger. Show you that, it's right here. So we, we used stakes and got the measurements of the house that I wanted, which is 32 by 64. It's just 2,048, I believe. It's a little over, but just under 2,050 square feet. So the, what we did, we used the auger and we drilled a 12 inch hole in the ground about three feet deep. And uh, we pulled a string line. We First we staked it off and got it square. And we pulled a string line and we measured eight foot center. So every eight foot will be the center of a post. And uh, I had several guys here helping me that it, we did it in a weekend. And uh, but that's it, we, we just drilled the holes and uh, we stood the post up. We started off bracing them with two by four bracing, but we quickly figured out that with the concrete, when you filled the hole with the concrete, if you mix the concrete right, the concrete doesn't have a problem holding the post the way you, you can level the post. You don't need the braces or we didn't need them. So you can see that we got them straight down through there. Uh, but we used a string, we actually used two string lines. We had a string line on the, let me get here. We, we had a string line that wrapped around the end post and went to the other end. We, so we had a string line on the front and the back. So when we would set each post, we would make sure to put it in between that string line uh, or in between those two string lines and, and have it just barely touch both strings. So that way we know their posts are in a straight line. And, uh, and then we, like I said, we would do one post at a time. We used two bags of concrete on each hole, uh, two 80 pound bags. And I think it took probably, it probably took about 30 minutes per hole. That's to dig the hole, uh, set the post, stand it up, mix the concrete and dump the concrete. It was, it was a hard job. It was tough work and it was hot that day. It was like 95 degrees. That was our biggest challenge was the heat. And uh, so because the ground is not level, it's got a, a rise to it, the post also had a rise. So they went with the contour of the ground and I had to come in later and uh, cut the tops off of the post to make them all the same height. Uh, well, not the same height. Some of them are tall. Like these over here are taller than these over here because the ground drops off. So. That's what this two by 10 here is. We, this is going to be the beginning of the floor joist. Uh, so I, we put the, we use these, we, first we use two by fours uh, to connect these as we were setting them. Uh, we connected each post with a two by four, an eight foot long two by four. But then after we got it set and the concrete set up, we took those off and used these two by tens. And like I said, the, these are going to be the beginning of the floor. So. After I got these on here, I came in and measured from here up to the top and used the same measurement on every post and cut them so they're all the same height from here and this is level, so that makes those level. So that's where I'm at right now. Uh, so I guess uh, step, step, step three would be uh, after dirt work is setting the post. And now the next thing I'm gonna be doing is using six by six beams. So I call these posts because they go up and down. And then I'm gonna be setting six by sixes that connect all the way across. It's gonna wrap around the house and sit on top. And I'm calling those beams just because they're uh, vertical. Uh, oh, I'm sorry, they're horizontal. Ver vertical ones are posed and the uh, Horizontal ones are what I call beams, but they're all six by sixes and they're all 16 foot long. So 
But uh, anyway, that's what I'm about to do today is start setting these. I'm here alone, so I'm gonna have to figure out how to do that by myself. And I'll probably make a video for that. So uh, step, step three is setting your post and beams and uh, getting them in concrete.